morning everyone welcome back to the channel today i am starting off with a little bit of nsx stuff this car has had a clunk for the longest time and it has been bugging me and pissing me off and i put it on the lift a while ago and could not figure out what it was so i went and put it on the lift again last weekend and come to find out my tie rod on the passenger side was uh not happy Look at that boat. So today I'm gonna fix that. Tie rod came in, it's the inner tie rod, not the outer tie rod. When I was bolt checking it the last time, I didn't check the inner, I checked the outer, but I found it this time. I gotta beat the garage door camera sensor thing, whatever. Look at this. One, two, and I couldn't be happier. Uh, the last time I drove this car, I literally drove it just to wash it and then put it back in the garage. So hopefully I can drive slow enough, no power steering life, to where I don't completely get this thing disgusting again. Transitioning back to the other camera now. Welcome. Under the NSX here, see it hasn't been driven in quite a little bit. I need to drive this thing more. The whole reason why I haven't been driving it is because of this clunk, because I couldn't find out where it was coming from and I didn't want to be driving and have a ball joint just fail and this thing go into the woods. So I've just been leaving it here until I had a chance to get it up onto a lift again and bolt check it. But the last time that I was in here, me and Adam were going through it and we found can you hear that? The inner tie rod on the passenger side is no bueno. Which is an easy fix. I honestly don't know how I didn't catch that the last time. Sometimes you think about things too much to where you don't think the simple things are the problem. And I think that's what ended up happening. So I'm gonna zap this off, go grab the new tie rod end, which is not the easiest thing to find, by the way. I was hoping that, you know, this would share like a tie rod with an Accord or a Civic or something because Honda, but nope, NSX specific. Just realized that I was way too overexposed for you guys, and we will check out this shitty tie rod. Okay, here is old poopy tie rod. No longer good. Uh, the inner part completely loose. Uh, new tie rod. I already have the washers and lock nut on that one. Just going to measure where the nut was on here and match it onto this one. Not the hardest job in the world. It took a little bit of figuring out with this thing, but not bad. I'm excited to drive it again because now I'm going to have a place of my very own to keep it. And I'm very excited. Out with the old and with the new. All good to go. Got some fresh fucking paint on there. Nice and tight, all good to go. I'm gonna drop this thing down, give it a quick toe plate alignment, make sure the front end is still good. It should be, but it might be off one thread or two. Make sure that's good. And then uh, we can move on to the actual meat and potatoes of this video because this is, this is a big one. You know, this is a life changing decision that I'm making and uh, it could be hopefully the start to something really, really amazing. So I'm very excited. This video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped is trusted by over 8 million men worldwide. And when it comes to their Beard Hedger Pro Kit, they did not mess around. I think this is probably my favorite part out of the entire kit. This is a one-stop shop shaver with a built-in adjustable guard length, which is perfect for me because I travel a lot and the previous shavers that I used had detachable guards and I would lose them all the time. My beard's probably at a three or four right now, so I'm actually going to use this to shape it up real quick. Take this guy, pop it back on. Gonna set it to a two. There we go. Now, not all beards grow the same, and making sure to maintain your skin and keeping your beard healthy is key. And you can do that and grow the perfect beard with the Manscaped Dermatologist Tested Beard Oil. You can also style your favorite look with Manscaped Beard Balm. Beards can trap oils and dirt on the skin and leave bad odors and irritation, but Manscaped Beard Shampoo is the perfect thing for your beard. And on top of that, don't forget it, you're gonna wanna make sure your beard is soft and smells amazing, so use Manscaped's Beard Conditioner. You thought I was done? No, no, no. 
On top of everything that they're giving you, they also give you an accessory pack, which comes with this high quality beard brush, their wooden beard comb, and even their beard scissors. And if you go to manscaped.com today by clicking the link in the description and using my code DIVINE, you will save 20% off your order on top of free shipping. Growing a magnificent beard, not seen here because I practically just shaved it down to a one again, is possible thanks to the Manscaped Beard Hedger Pro Kit. And I want to give them a massive, massive shout out for sponsoring today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this little segment. And now let's get back to the video. Okay, so this is a big video and you guys came here because of the title. I bought a house. Um, it's been something that I've wanted to do for a very, very long time. And when I originally moved to Florida, it wasn't really in my plans. I wasn't sure how long I was going to be in Florida. Despite me not being able to handle the heat very well and the frequent random hurricanes that we get throughout the year, it is a pretty cool place, especially being involved with the whole compound and everything. It is a very cool opportunity that I do not take for granted. But this year I decided to take a slower approach to merchandise and putting my focus around uh, making all the crazy products all the time and just kind of hunkering down and figuring out what to do housewise. I'm still making product. I actually have two products that are coming out very soon that uh, I am very excited on. I shot and designed a poster of the Century which came out absolutely phenomenal and I cannot wait to drop that as well as a really, really awesome uh, shirt design based around this car. It's gonna be amazing. But yeah, over the past two months, I have been searching aimlessly for the perfect house. I've probably toured 15 houses in the past two months and I found the perfect one, locked it in and the closing was yesterday. So if you can't tell, the car's full of boxes. We're taking some small stuff over there now. Sam is behind me following me. And I'm gonna give you guys a full house tour. It feels so weird saying that, but I am excited. Pulling up now. This feels so friggin' weird, man. Let's see. Oh yeah, nice. I figured that I would start off, I guess, with the garage because car guy, garage. I have my own garage now. It feels fucking weird, but I am so, so excited to uh, do my car stuff in my own garage. It, it feels really, really weird, but I have a ton of plans in here. As you can see, the Century fits no problem inside the garage. This thing's 17 and a half feet long and fits in here perfect. I'm glad that I found this house with this setup. Can easily fit a second car in here. Sam's car is in here right now. I'll probably have the NSX in here at some point or something else, but I have a ton of plans in here. I want to redo this garage completely and just make it like car guy heaven looking, but um, I don't know. I guess I'm just going to wing this thing. We're just going to do a full walkthrough of the inside of the house, starting with the main living space and just kind of give you our ideas and plans with everything. It's also really hot in this garage. It is very hot in here. <laughs> Noki has been dying. Come here! <laughs> He's like, what in the heck is this place? So, coming from the garage, you start in this little tiny room in here that, uh, yes, I know, there's nothing to do here, it's empty. That's the other problem. This place is empty right now because they just moved out. So there's not a lot to show, but I can show the bare bones. So, this is the main living space and it might be weird on camera, but it is massive. There's a ton of room in here, and uh, we plan. What? What? Like, I'm the star now. <laughs> Screw you, Devon Media. <laughs> <laughs> there is a ton of room in this house, and we plan to have a full kind of living setup against the wall here. We'll have a nice big flat screen up against the corner, and L shaped couch with a chase lounge, everything like that. Dude. Dude. <laughs> oh gosh. 
This house was built in 2020, so it's pretty much brand new. Everything inside is exactly the way that I would have liked it. I like the light colors. I like a lot of light inside of a house. Everything in here is new. All the appliances are only a couple years old. I love the island here. Every countertop surface in the house is all granite, white granite, and uh, is really, really nice, yeah. Everything in the house is all soft clothes, which I absolutely love. Didn't it matches grow. the century. It matches the century. <laughs> How does it match the century? Because the century is soft clothes. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, century ain't white. <laughs> I've, I've been having the worst like mind blocks today. I've been like trying to think of how to film this video for the past 20 minutes and um, I just decided to wing it at this point. Like it's an empty house. Obviously there's a lot of ideas that we have and it's going to be really, really cool to kind of bring you guys along for it as we do things. But for now, it's just a blank slate. So coming down this way, this is like the main hallway entrance into the house. Uh, new locks, all that stuff. You come in here, to the right, there's two bedrooms. I do want to turn this one into our office space because I like the window, I like the natural light. I feel like having an L-shaped desk. Ooh, there's not a closet. I thought there was a closet on this side. It's on this side. Shows how much I've been paying attention. <laughs> the closet. So this whole corner, we're thinking about just doing like a really big attached desk so like he's like on one side and I'm on one side. Exactly. Just one gigantic desk set up. Maybe have Nyoki a little bed by the window? Yeah. Right Nyoki? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> he does not want to be here anymore. He's like, there's nothing to do. Um, guest bathroom in here. Different color, which is interesting, but we're going to kind of, we have some cool ideas for this. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys in the future. The previous tenants in this house, uh, they also had a dog and they pretty much just picked their stuff up and left. So everything's covered in dog hair. Um, but this is probably gonna be the guest bedroom. We have a really cool theme in mind for this bedroom. Car themed, movie themed, who knows? I don't know, but it's gonna be really, really cool. I'm like having flashbacks from when I first walked through this house. Like when I opened this door, there was like, I'm not kidding, like 50 pairs of Crocs on the floor, but they were all for like a four year old. So they were all like this big. Is he running just running around him? Yeah, he's just chasing nothing. <laughs> you like one of those dogs that sees things we don't see? Zergus. This house is two. There's something you should be telling this us. This house is two and a half years old. Hopefully not. I will say for a first time home buyer's experience, uh, Mike, who was my realtor, uh, made it a more fun experience than usual, and that's because Mike is a car guy. So he helped me find the perfect house with the perfect garage space, enough room to fit the century. Was shopping around, found a bunch of different houses that we all toured, and ultimately landed on this one just because it's new. You know, the houses that I saw before, they were all from the late 80s, early 90s, they had some issues. I actually closed, or, or was, I put my deposit down on a, another house um, that had a pool and things like that. And it was nice, but upon the inspection, uh, they found like 40 grand worth of stuff that needed to be fixed. So, didn't really want to deal with that. I had to pull out of that house. And I'm glad that I did because this one is turnkey. You just move in. Clean it and you move in. Do which you think the universe was trying to send you a sign? I think so. <laughs> I hope so, because I like this place a lot. But over in here is the master bedroom setup, which is nice and big. Fan. <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> nice new fan. I, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm excited because excited everything. Excited for the new stuff. I mean, yeah, I'm excited because everything is new. When he sent me the video first of this house, it was literally like just a video of just him going, this is new, this yeah, is I'll, new, this is I'll new. I'll overlay a little montage of that yes. now because it's really funny. <laughs> it's, since it's new, it's got all updated systems. It's got to be nice. The house is brand new. The sinks are nice. The mirrors are nice. Everything's nice. The floors are all tile, which is nice. All the cabinets are nice. I mean, the house is new, so. 
really nice. The ceilings are so high. I love that. So this is the master, all brand new. New fans, new everything. Keep saying that, it's a new fucking house. But I really do like this. I love the fact that they have recessed outlets for the hang-up TV. TV. Insert here. <laughs> <laughs> nice, big, gigantic master bathroom. Uh, double sinks. The only thing that I've noticed throughout the house so far that I want to change out is the faucets in all of the rooms. I don't have water turned on yet. That's getting turned on tomorrow. But they're a little, you know, What's crusty. Like hotel. Yeah. Hol hotel. Hotel. Motel. Holiday Inn. <laughs> there you go. Um, big, gigantic walk-in closet inside the master bathroom, which is really nice. Might need to get repainted. Looks like they had a little bit of a scuffle. <laughs> up there. I don't know what was so hard to take off the shelf, but yeah. <laughs> it's a bathroom. Not too much to see, but it's nice. Very nice. I'll show you the backyard. No, a little you want to see the backyard again? Second time? You might have to see if the camera's lit enough. It's out there. lit in here. Come on, buddy. So, big, gigantic uh, side yard, backyard, everything. This is actually a corner lot. In the beginning when I looked at this house, I was like thinking in my head like it'd be really cool to build a little shop right here, have a couple extra cars, a lift maybe, things like that. It's a pipe dream, it would be really cool. I don't know if it's possible in this part of town. Um, was that a solid P, 10 out of 10? He doesn't care. I'm gonna look into the whole shop building thing. I don't know if that's gonna be possible, but at least I have a really nice garage space that I can redo completely. I plan to make an entire video series on that once I start doing that um, and just kind of show you guys the process of moving in and the, the you know upgrades that we do on the inside of the house. This is like a whole new chapter for me and Sam, I guess, in yes. both of our lives. So it's, it's a very uh, fun experience. It's stressful, but it's, it's very, very fun. But I'm excited. We gotta root that up though. We gotta get rid of that. If anybody wants to try and save these plants. If you if anyone wants tomatoes, I'll include one in every order. Not really much to do in the backyard. Um, it would be nice to kind of extend this concrete out a little bit in the future and build like a patio set up and things like that. But that all depends on if uh, I'm doing the whole shop thing. So where are we at right now with the house? Uh, I closed yesterday, officially, and today we brought just some loose boxes here of stuff that was already packed up. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to have a whole cleaning company come here, just kind of clean this entire place out, give it a fresh blank slate so that we can actually start unpacking things, and then order up all of the furniture that we need and things like that, and just slowly start moving in. This weekend coming up is Grid Life Lime Rock, which I'm flying up to tomorrow, so I will be most likely moving in the week after that. That'll give us enough time to get the stuff that we need and go from there. I think that's probably it for the house tour. Like I said, it's kind of a blank slate. Point the camera now. <laughs> right now, it's a, it's a blank slate, like I said, but it's a new chapter for everything. Um, I have enjoyed very much living at the compound for the past two years. Having my own space to be able to do what I want and customize it the way that I want to and have my own garage space that I can make how I want is going to be awesome. And I'm really excited to bring you guys along for the trip, the whole journey of all of this. It's definitely a weird chapter, but it's a cool chapter. So I hope you guys enjoy this little walkthrough MTV Cribs style stuff with the new house. I will be giving updates on my Instagram and YouTube videos in the future, so thank you guys for tuning in and I will 